12 months, responding and adapting to the persistently evolving challenges created by COVID. 12 months of working flat out, going above and beyond to keep essential services going. But it's also been 12 months of innovation, collaboration, recognition, pride, celebration and growing excitement around our plans for the future. So let's take a quick look at some of Royal Surrey's 2021-22 highlights. Last year, we continued to find ways to expand the services we offer out in the community. For example, in July, we opened our fourth maternity hub at Cranley. These hubs enable women to receive maternity care closer to home in a dedicated maternity space. Milford Community Hospital also received a boost when it was selected by NHS England to become a community diagnostic centre. For patients, this means quicker diagnosis and reduced waiting times. Thanks to generous donations to the Royal Surrey charity, Chilworth Ward was given a beautiful, nature-themed makeover, making it more welcoming and relaxing for patients receiving treatment. In March 2022, along with our partner, the University of Surrey, we received £1 million worth of funding from the National Institute of Health Research to form a state-of-the-art clinical research facility. The funding will enable us to expand our research into new treatments for a range of serious illnesses. Last year, we initiated the planning and design of a new £25 million Cancer and Surgical Innovation Centre. We are grateful to long-term Royal Surrey supporter Jeremy Hunt MP who is spearheading a fundraising campaign for the new centre. So the new Cancer and Surgical Innovation Centre is so important to the Royal Surrey. We've really got to take forward our surgical practice and have theatres and facilities that will take us into the next century. It involves new ways of delivering surgery that supports the 60% of the work we currently do at the Royal Surrey that is based around cancer surgery or oncology. So it's a really, really important development for us. There are also some exciting plans afoot for St Luke's Cancer Centre. In fact, major refurbishment work is now underway as we expand and modernise our cancer centre while creating more clinical space to support the increasing demand for our services. Our plans to build a 600-space multi-storey car park were given the go-ahead by Guildford Borough Council and in October 2021, we opened a new wellbeing cabin on the Royal Surrey site. This is a multi-purpose space for hosting exercise courses, wellbeing sessions and workshops. It offers staff a quieter space away from the pressures of busy wards. Last year, we launched a frailty same-day emergency care facility. It means people living with frailty can access the right care more quickly. It also maximises patient flow and helps avoid unplanned admissions. It is satisfying at the end of the day to hear from our patient that they are so happy that we will be able to send them back home rather than staying in the hospital. In 2021, Royal Surrey clinicians became the first in the UK to use artificial intelligence, or AI, to treat a cervix cancer patient. The Varian Adaptive Radiotherapy Machine, known as Ethos, targets radiotherapy with precision, avoiding damage to healthy tissue and limiting side effects. The Ethos machine uses artificial intelligence to deliver state-of-the-art online adaptive radiotherapy. This allows us to change our radiotherapy treatment to the daily changes in the patient's body. This is something we can't do with a normal treatment and allows us to give much more accurate radiotherapy while decreasing side effects for our patients. So it really is something that's brand new. Congratulations were in order for the team at St Luke's after they achieved a Centre of Excellence Award for brain tumour treatment and research. The award has been given by the Tessa Jowell Brain Cancer Mission to just nine neurocentres in England. This award recognised us for providing exemplary clinical practice and with a particular emphasis on putting brain tumour patients first and foremost in decision making and the ongoing immeasurable improvements in the patient's journey through this devastating disease with a positive impact on both quality and quantity of life for brain tumour patients and their families. 
Over the last year, many Royal Surrey teams and individuals have been recognised for their work and achievements. For example, consultant nurse Jo McLeod was honoured with the Chief Nursing Officer for England's Silver Award. In May 2021, our Special Care Baby Unit became one of just 18 UK neonatal units chosen to receive support from UNICEF UK to help them work towards a BFI, Baby Friendly Initiative Accreditation. In February 2022, SCABOO passed stage one of its journey to achieving accreditation. And on to the Health Service Journal Patient Safety Awards 2021, where our fantastic team scooped no less than three prestigious gongs. The St Luke's and Pharmacy team won both the Improving Safety Medicine Management Award and the Patient Safety Team Award. And the Glaucoma team won the Patient Safety Pilot Project of the Year with its Glaucoma drive through service. Plus, our brilliant screen team was shortlisted for the Patient Safety Education and Training category. Well done, everyone. And finally... We're incredibly excited to be celebrating our 25th anniversary of St Luke's and what a place to work. I mean, incredible staff, incredible projects and cancer treatments. Earlier this year, we celebrated 25 years since Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh officially opened the St Luke's Cancer Centre. Today, Royal Surrey is a regional referral cancer treatment centre, serving a population of 3 million across the southeast of England. We deliver more than 30,000 chemotherapy sessions each year, and our treatment protocols are followed by many of the leading cancer centres across the UK. So I really love working in St Luke's and it's been um, a great 25 years as we're celebrating and we're looking forward to a great future here in St Luke's.